Hi, this is Tim from Cairo Up. I'm here today with Becky and Bruce Zilka. He's a rep from Chattanooga and he's going to tell us about some new technology. There's a lot of research that's come out recently about shockwave therapy and we asked Bruce to come by and tell us a little bit about it. Hi hey, Bruce. Hi, thank you for inviting me. Uh, this is our new device that's called the radio pressure wave and what it does, it, it, it works on an acoustical sound wave and we're putting uh, pressure and wave into the tissue to break up calcifications uh, any tendinopathies to really stress that tissue to get the reform and break up scar tissue. Excellent. So a lot of the theory about how to treat a tendinopathy has changed in recent years. We used to think things were chronic itises where they stay inflamed. In reality, they're apathies where things are dying off. So this seems like a natural marriage of something that will help to stimulate a controlled inflammatory reaction. Those apathies would be at the top of the list. Are there any other treatment, any other uh, conditions that we would use this for? Uh, if we're using plantar fasciitis, for example, any, anything chronic where we need to distress that tissue to perform, make that cell, the heel back to its natural homeostasis. Great, so like a, a golfer's elbow, a tennis elbow, a plantar fasciitis, a, a Achilles tendinopathy, yeah. or a, a shoulder impingement, that yeah. would be good? Yeah, think of all your joints, your hip, knee, hip, uh, knees, ankles, uh, shoulders, all that kind of stuff we can do really well. Great, so it just so happens we've induced a uh, lateral condylopathy in Becky, and uh, Becky's volunteered to be our subject today. Bruce, could you show us how to, how to treat it? So we have to use a medium where we're delivering the treatment, so any type of ultrasound gel will work. And we'll just put it on the area that we're going to target. Okay. And then there's pressure. This works from one bar up to five bar. The number of higher bars creates more pressure into the tissue to stress that tissue, to disrupt that tissue matrix. So we're going to start at a low end and then we're going to see where she can tolerate it and that's where we want to treat. So it's going to make some clicking noises. Okay. That's normal. Okay. So we're going to start here. You let me know when you feel it. How's that feel? That feels good. Up a couple higher, so I, I want to stress a little bit of the tissue. Right in there. Mm -hmm. okay. So just tell me as, you, as I'm doing this what you're feeling. So we're going to take this up. We do 2,000 pulses for treatment. Okay. So we need that much to stress that tissue to start creating cell proliferation, cell proliferation, cell proliferation. Bruce, how long would you do a treatment typically on a lateral epicondylopathy? How many, how many minutes? You're looking at about four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah. And do you know how many treatments in, in general we would, we would uh, have in a plan? Uh, your treatment for your plan, usually you want to do about four to six treatments, and you want to do about four to five days apart because we're breaking down that tissue, so you need time to heal. So it might be over a four to five week treatment. Okay. So spread out a little bit more than, say, a grass would be. Exactly. Are there any contraindications, any treatment, any uh, conditions that we wouldn't want to use shockwave therapy? Uh, anything over fractures, we wouldn't want to do anything where there's any type of uh, cancerous tissues or any abnormal tissue, we just don't do it. Similar to ultrasound. Yeah, similar to ultrasound, just that we don't heat the tissue. Great. And Becky, how's that feel? Is it, it feels good. It is very comfortable. Great. Well, we'll be eager to see how this uh, turns out for Becky's elbow. We'll keep you posted. In the interim, uh, we hope that you'll uh, take a look at these types of machines. They seem to have great promise, and we'll uh, keep you updated as to when the literature comes out to explain more. Thanks for watching.